Hey everybody, welcome back to Positive Bluebird. It's me, Birdie. I hope that things have been going well for you in your life. I just wanted to let you know that I'm very, very sorry I have not been on YouTube for a, maybe a month or a little bit longer. My family and I have been packing as we're trying to move out of this really expensive apartment. Oh, my home state of Colorado is expensive. I remember back in 1993, my first apartment, I paid $80 a month for a two-car garage converted into a small unit. And now we are paying $1,262 a month. It's crazy. So we're going to try to get into a tax credit apartment. There's thousands of them, but of course there are waiting lists. And we have two leads out of 50 that seem pretty positive and um, our chances are really, really good. And the units are really nice and they're close by here too and close to my son's school. So anyway, I hope things are going well for you guys. I have been very sick, but hanging in there, hardly ever stay in bed. You know me, I just keep going and going and going. So I've been looking on the computer and I've been searching for housing units that will um, go off of our family income and watching the Cubs game versus um, the Dodgers and we are kicking butt. I know Colorado Rockies is our team, but my husband likes the Cubs and so do I. <laughs> so I hope you guys are doing great and I will just chat with you later. I don't have a whole lot of new news for my health, except that um, I might have lupus. So we're going to look into that. And then I might have sleep apnea. So I have to do a sleep study because I catch myself during the day not breathing when I'm sitting here watching TV. And I'm possibly not breathing in my sleep. That's not good. And I woke up last week from a horrible leg cramp. I'm sure you guys have had those before, the kind that make you jump out of bed. And it was 2.30 in the morning, and I had to go over to my husband, and I had to pull his arm. And he held my hand, and I kept telling him, I'm going to faint, I'm going to faint, I'm going to faint. Next thing I knew, I was on the floor with my husband propping me up, trying to help me. And I was talking and slurring like I was drunk. I don't remember anything else after that, and the next day, I couldn't figure out why my back was hurting, so I have a gouge in my back with a scratch and a giant bruise, and it's because I must have turned around or spun around and hit my back on the corner of my end table and fell on the floor when I passed out. <laughs> So we're going to look into seeing what's going on. I do have heart murmurs um, that skip a beat in, in regular heartbeat and things like that. Um, and things are happening with my kidney disease and stuff. So I look a mess. This is what you look like when you're not feeling so good. Your eyes are bloodshot. And so please pray for me. I hope I don't have lupus, but it is looking like I may not have fibromyalgia. Or I have both, lupus and fibro, I don't know. But my kidney diseases um, are kind of elevated right now. So I'm hanging in there the best that I can. I'm crocheting and looking for places to live and enjoying my family. And that's all you can do. So I love you guys. And I hope that you have a positive rest of your night. And I hope to post more content. So peace out guys.